The Coyotes take on the Buffaloes. Seven, <laughs> the Sabers, the Buffalo Sabers. Uh, seven o'clock Eastern tip off in Buffalo. Uh, the Sabers open the betting as the dollar uh, fifty-five favorite. Total at five and a half. And since those markets open this one up, we've actually seen a. 10 cent fade of Buffalo in the early going here. They're now minus 145. So once again, the Sabres open 155 down to 145. Uh, totals five and a half. 66% are leaning Buffalo. Uh, Arizona's plus 130 for some money line cash. Buffalo's plus 190 for some puck line cash. Now Buffalo's uh, 18, 9, and 4 overall for the year. They're winning 70% of their games as the favorite. Uh, this Buffalo defense is allowing just 2.94 goals per game overall for the year. They're allowing just 2.8 goals per game on their home ice. Buffalo is also winning 75% of their games as the official home favorite. They're also winning 75% of their games at the current money line price. Now, this Arizona offense has been pretty anemic themselves. They're scoring just 2.5 goals per game on the road. Uh, they're winning just 45% of their games as the official Vegas underdog. Arizona is also winning just 38% of their games, taking on teams, allowing more than 2.9 goals per game. Really, really a bizarre stat there. Now, scoring-wise, Arizona 4-1 of the over in their last five. Buffalo 9-6 and of the over in their games at home. So with all that said and done, give me Buffalo minus 145 in the over. Five and a half goals in that one. All right, next game, Kings, Blue Jackets. 7 o'clock Eastern puck drop in Columbus. The Blue Jackets opened uh, as the $2 favorite. They're now minus 210, total 6, 51% are leaning Columbus. LA's plus 190 uh, on the money line. Columbus is plus 130 on the puck line. I think I'm about to <laughs> sneeze. Oh, excuse me. All right, Columbus, they're scoring 3.53 goals per game on their home home ice. Uh, Los Angeles, they're scoring just 1.7 goals per game on the road. They're also 4-9-1 and one on the road as well. LA's just 6-10-2 and two straight up as the underdog. 1-4 straight up in their last five. Los Angeles, 3-10-1 and one to the over, away from home. Columbus, 2-0 and oh to the under in their last two. So with all that said and done, I'm going to lean Columbus minus 1.5 on the puck line for plus 130 and the under. Six goals in that one. Next game. Hurricanes, Canadiens, 7.30 puck drop in Montreal. Montreal open 120 down to 115. Total open 5.5 up to 6. 61% are leaning Canadian, 78% shaded toward the over. Carolina is plus 103 on the money line. Montreal is plus 245 on the puck line. Montreal 4-2 and two straight up in their last 6. 4-1 and one on the puck line in their last five at home. This Montreal offense is putting up just, uh, they're putting up 3.3 goals per game on their home ice. They're also winning 60% of their games, taking on sub-500 teams. Carolina on the other side, they're one four straight up in their last five, three and six straight up in their last nine on the road. And scoring wise, Carolina 10 and four to the under on the road. Montreal 60% to the under when Carey Price makes the start. So with all that said and done, I'm going to lean Montreal minus a buck 15 in the under. Six goals in that one. Next game, this is the game of the night. Marquee matchup here. Maple Leafs, Lightning, 730 Eastern. Puck drop in Tampa Bay. The Lightning open 150, down to 130. Total open 6.5, up to 7. 53% are leaning Tampa Bay, 58% shaded toward the under. Toronto's plus $1.18. Tampa Bay is plus 200 on the puck line. Tampa Bay is 24 7 and 1 overall for the year, 14 and 4 on their home ice. Tampa Bay scoring 4.33 goals per game at the MLE. They're also 7-1 straight up in their last eight on their home ice as well. Meanwhile, on the Toronto side of things, they've dropped four out of their last five against the Lightning. This Toronto defense is allowing 3.1 goals per game on the road. They're also 1-2 and two straight up in their last three. Now, scoring-wise, Toronto 6-1 and one to the over in their last seven. Tampa Bay 5-2 and two to the over in their last seven themselves. So with all that said and done, I'm going to lean Tampa Bay minus 1.5, getting the job done on the puck line for plus 200 and the over. Seven goals in that one. Next game, Panthers, Wild. 8 o'clock puck drop in Minnesota. The Wild open 155 up to 170. Totals at 6. 66% are leaning Minnesota. 51% shaded toward the over. Florida's plus 155 for some money line cash. 
Minnesota's plus 160 for some puck line cash. Now, Minnesota has won 83% of their ball games that were played at the current money line price. They were also winning 67% of their games, taking on losing teams. This Florida defense is allowing 4.1 goals per game on the road this season. Now, scoring-wise, Florida 8-5-1 and of the over on the road. Minnesota 9-5-1 and of the over on their home ice. So with all that said and done, I'm going to make another puck line play. Give me the wild minus one and a half on the puck line for plus 160 and the over six goals in that one. Next game, Canucks, Predators, 8 o'clock puck drop in Nashville. The Preds open 235 down to 220, totals five and a half. 71% of the consensus is shaded toward Nashville. Vancouver's plus 190. Nashville's plus 130 for some puck line cash. Nashville's 12 and 5 straight up at home, 9 and 2 straight up in their last 11 on their home ice. Meanwhile, on the Vancouver side of things, they're just 4 and 12 straight up in their last 16. They're 3 and 6 straight up in their last 9 on the road. Now, both teams are 2 and 1 of the over in their last three games, respectively. So, with all that said and done, I'm going to lean Nashville minus one and a half, getting the job done on the puck line uh, for plus 130 and the over. Five and a half goals in that one. All right, next and. Uh, it's not the final game for the show. I got two more to go. Next game, Oilers, Jets, 8 o'clock puck drop in Winnipeg. The Jets open the betting as the $1.75 favorite, total at 6. And since those markets open this one up, uh, no real surprises here as we're seeing money on Winnipeg. Uh, we saw a $0.10 cent move upward on Winnipeg. Uh, no movement on the total as of yet. Uh, right now, Winnipeg's minus 185. So once again, Winnipeg open 175 up to 185. Totals at six. 66% are leaning Winnipeg. And at the moment, Edmonton is plus $1.65 for some money line cash. Now on the other side, Winnipeg is plus 160 if you want to lay the goal and a half on the puck line. Now, Winnipeg has been very good when favored this season. They're winning 72% of their games as the official Vegas favorite. They're also 6-0 straight up in their games that started at the current money line price. So they're 6-0 straight up, a perfect 6-0 straight up in their games at the current money line odds. Now, on the Edmonton side of things, they're just 3-7 straight up in their last 10 on the road. Uh, they lost seven out of their last ten away from home. Their offense is putting up just 2.6 goals per game when traveling. And scoring-wise, both teams 2-1 uh, to the over in their last three games, respectively. So with all that said and done, I'm going to make another puck line play. I've never made this many puck line leans ever, but i uh, got to do it. Give me Winnipeg, minus 1.5 for plus 160 in the over. Six goals in that one. And that's going to bring me to my next and final game for the show, it is going to be Dallas Stars at the San Jose Sharks. 10.30 Eastern puck drop in San Jose. Now the Sharks open the betting as the hefty $1.75 favorite on the money line. And since those markets open this one up, they're actually taking money. We saw a $0.25 cent move toward the Sharks in the early going here. Uh, no movement on the total as of yet, but right now the Sharks are minus 200. They're the $2 favorite on the money line. So once again, the Sharks opened 175 up to $2. Totals at 6. 84% are leaning San Jose. And at the moment, the Sharks, uh, I'm sorry, at the moment, the Stars are plus 173 for some money line cash. The Sharks are plus 140 uh, for some puck line cash themselves. Now, if you like the Sharks in this matchup here, especially at home because they've been good at home this year. Just keep in mind that Dallas is 7-2-1 in their last 10 head-to-head -head matchups with San Jose. So Dallas has really had San Jose's number in the past couple of seasons. Dallas is also 4-2 straight up in their last six games. Now the Sharks on the other side, they were already 0-2 straight up against Dallas this season. They're also just 1-6 straight up in their last seven taking on the Stars. Now total-wise, Dallas is 5-2-1 and one of the under in their last eight. Meanwhile, in the, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Dallas, yeah, I was correct. Dallas is 5-2-1 and one to the under in their last eight. They're also 10-4-3 and three to the under in their games away from home. I let that one get away from me. But, yes, yeah, a lot of unders for this Dallas Stars team. So with all that said and done, I'm going to lean toward an underdog. 
It's feast or famine for me. I'm either laying the goal and a half or I'm taking a heavy dog. But anyway, I'm leaning toward the dog in this one. I'm going to go ahead and take Dallas plus 173 as the underdog, getting the job done outright in the under. Six goals in this one. 